what are you seeing in terms of the transformations that you're finding in people? I mean, for, for me, I can, I can speak to my own experience and say that my connection with nature is such that, you know, even just using the, the abstract term nature, just it, it just doesn't really feel correct in a way, especially when um, we did some of the animal communication work that, um, that we were led through. And so I'm just curious to know what, um, you know, what transformations are you seeing in people and, uh, and why are you still continuing? You know, it's been a couple of years that uh, you started. Why, why are you still doing this? I think to, to inspire people that, that nature is alive and that, uh, that we have to develop a relationship with nature. And, and the first way we do that is through our own inner nature. So really listening and feeling our own pulse and our own heartbeat and that life force inside of us. And then what's really beautiful about coming to, to Africa and South Africa and walking the land is, is seeing that communication between your inner world being expressed in the outer world. And, uh, and my intention behind this, and it started when, when I, when I wrote, wrote my book, Leopard Warrior, was to create a portal, you know, to help people find that inner portal of the dream time inside of them, which is a very old indigenous way and belief, connecting with that inner dream time, which is your connection to your soul, and then connecting that to the, the wilderness and seeing seeing that connection is, is actually being very, um, it's very ephemeral, it's very easy. We just have to get out of our heads. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 oh, my